All right, here's your other good one. Talking a little bit about uh, military enlistments and stuff like that. Have it upside down? I do have it upside down. The glory days. When you come out, yeah. You know what? Honestly, brain, I'm not exaggerating. Because you know I I I I, I'm not, I have no propensity to lying. Um, I bet you if I wrote a book, people would think it was fiction. Not because of the stuff that I did, but just some of the stuff that I was part of and saw and was at. It's ridiculous, man. Like, running a nightclub. How many people can say they ran a nightclub in New York State? I can. And let me tell you, everything you see in the movies, all the stuff in the movies that they show happening in nightclubs, all of it happens. All of it. Everything. All of it. Craziest thing you've seen in a movie happens in a nightclub. It was, it was, it was bonkers. It was surreal. It was not healthy. But it happened. I could write a book just about working on Chippewa, which is our street. Uh, well, it used to be the street of bars. It's basically dissolved now. Uh, that people would be like, this is... This is bullarkey. Nope. All that happened. Insane stuff. Ah, uh, power. I don't think I've ever seen power. Um, have you ever seen the movie? It's got. What's his name? Joaquin Phoenix. Is it like We Own the Night? Or something? Um, it's Joaquin Phoenix is a is a nightclub owner. He, he like runs his dad's... Or he runs a nightclub. His dad's a cop or something like that. Um, whatever that movie is, that's almost exactly how a nightclub is. Um, just, just, can't even get into it. Can't even get into some of the stories. It hasn't been 10 years. It's almost 10 years. Be able to talk about it in probably a year. Wayneold Gretzky. Oh, uh, what? I don't know what that is. I want to say it was Joaquin Phoenix. Now I'm going to have to look it up. Yeah, I can't, like, I'm not going to get into any, even, even, like, hinting to the details, because uh, Erica Hosseini, she's a surfer. Because uh, even hinting at the, the details would be not safe for work. We own the night. That's what it is. We own the night. Yeah, he, he runs a nightclub, and that's pretty true to form. But I digress. I had a hands-off... Well, I wouldn't say hands-off owner. So our owner was not from America. Um, and he basically didn't care. Uh, oh, check that out. Laura Wilkinson... 2000 gold medal winner numbered out of 150 nice little inscription for you no i didn't i like stan hope the man is sick but i like him i don't know how he's still alive lived an interesting life I've seen things that absolutely nobody would would believe there are very few photos of me from that era 
And the ones that are there, you're like, I don't know that person. I've never seen him before. You would not recognize me. I was six foot 180, about 185. And I was like nobody fat. I was a little ripped dude. Well, a skinny ripped dude. It was lean. It was wary. <laughs> yeah, man. I just and and here's the thing. Like, not it wasn't it, all of it. Isn't my club. Like, yeah, my club. We, we, we there was no rules. Yeah, there was no rules. Uh, but the things I would witness at other clubs, like just the stuff that we would do after hours, the stuff that we got away with. I now this I can talk about. I ran a very famous fondue restaurant in Florida. I'm not going to name it, <laughs> but there aren't many of them. Uh, I, I ran, I was a manager of a very famous, I was the assistant manager, but the manager was gone for like three months because of some, a personal thing. Uh, and, oh my goodness, that was, I'm not joking when I say literally, my, my bar and restaurant people will understand how insane this is. Our alcohol bill was 30% of the restaurant fee. Was was a part of the restaurant... Um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Jamie Mungin, Mungia. I know, right, dude? It's it's Yeah, I know. A fondue restaurant. Uh, actually, I'm six minutes late. I'm actually leaving. This is the last one. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, so it was very famous fondue restaurant. Um, but 30% of our expenditures was alcohol at this restaurant. To give you an idea, it shouldn't be anywhere near that. James Holhauser. That is a duel relic of James. I think he's the guy from Jeopardy, right? Isn't he one of the, the smart guy? Yeah, I'm very round too. I'm very round. But I'm actually, I have lost some weight since quarantine. I've actually gone down. All right, everybody. I am about eight minutes late, but you know what? What's eight minutes between friends? Oh, it was a great time.